Hi everyone, in this video we will uh, install or we will deploy VMware vCenter server appliance. So in these videos we are discussing about VMware vSphere which is a cloud computing virtualization platform which is basically a family of products which contains supportive software and management tools. So it has many components. Uh, so the two core components are ESXi and vCenter server. So we have installed ESXi in our previous video, which is actually a virtualization platform, which allows us to create multiple virtual machines. And we can have multiple ESXi and to manage them centrally, we have this vCenter server, which provides a centralized platform for managing ESXi hosts. And uh, VM, uh, so VMware vCenter server appliance is a pre-configured virtual machine. And which is optimized for running vCenter server and its components. So we are going to deploy that vCenter server appliance on ESXi host on this host in this video. And for that, we need to download it. And now to download VMware vCenter server appliance, we have to go to Google and we have to write VMware customer connect and then press enter. And after that, we have to click here on this VMware customer connect, click there. And when we click there, it will land us to this page. And on this page, let's say first we have to click on this, this here. And uh, when we click here, we have to click on login. So if you don't have an account, we have to create an account. If, if you already have an account, then we can just click on this login. In any case, we can just click on this login page. And here you can see we have a screen where I need to give my email address or the customer number. So if you don't have an account, you can click just on sign up now and then it will ask you for further details which you can give. And also we have discussed in our previous video that how to create this account there. After you have given the details of your username and password, you will land on this page. And here you have to click on all products. And then you will have all products of VMware and we are actually discussing VMware's vSphere. So now we have to click on view downloads components. And then you will see here all the v VMware vSphere components. And today we are going to uh, install or deploy this VMware vCenter server 8.0.0. So for that, we need to click on go download. And uh, then we will have a page some here. We have to click on download trial. And then we have to scroll down here. You can see we have uh, hypervisor vSphere ESXi we have already installed, but today we have to install VMware vCenter server. So we just click there and then we click download vCenter server here. And then we have to click on manually download. And now it will start downloading for us. It may take some time. So I, I'll pause this recording. And once this is downloaded, I'll show you that what are the next steps. Now, after a wait of uh, 30 minutes, actually this depends on the internet speed, but for me, after a wait of 30 minutes, I can see that this file has been downloaded for me. And uh, now before uh, installing it, I'll just go to my VMware here and I have to power on this virtual machine, which is actually my ESXi and my VMware. So it may take some time. And uh, meanwhile, I can go here on my downloads folder and then I'll double click this, uh, this one to map this to my CD-ROM. So for that, I just have to double click there. And it will say, do you want to open this file? We say, yes, open it. And then you can see we have this DVD drive on our screen. You can see this here. And then after this, we have to click on this VCSA user interface or UI uh, installer. And then we have to click on Windows 32 because this is the operating system which I'm using. So click there. And then we have here the installer. So we have downloaded this installer and now we just have to double click there. But for, I mean, before this, I want to see that whether this machine is ready. So this ESXi machine is getting ready, which I installed in my previous video. That is the virtualization uh, software. So which will enable us to create virtual machine. After a wait of five minutes, this ESXi machine is ready and uh, the IP address for this is 192.168.10.130 and then I will go back to my this uh, CD-ROM 
and here I will I'll just have to click on installer so actually there will be two steps in installing or in deploying this VMware vCenter server so first stage will be OVA deployment so for that I'm just going to click on installer double click on the installer and it will show us this first step here so install a new vCenter server so for this installation we just have to click here and it says that this installer allows you to install a vCenter server 8.0 and the, we just have to click here and next and it says that and use a license agreement so we have to accept this license agreement after reading of course all these things we just have to accept it and then click next and now it uh, gives us uh, that it gives us the prompt that the, where we want to deploy it so in our case we are going to deploy, deploy it uh, on ESXi host and we need to give an IP address of this ESXi and our ESXi host is here I would like to show you here so this is ESXi machine and the IP address for this is 192.168.10.130 and we want to confirm that we are able to reach this ESXi machine from our browser so open your browser and give the IP address of your ESXi machine that is 192.168.10.130 press enter and then it may ask you and it will ask you for the username and password you need to give the username and password here so root for the username and password maybe I remember this so after giving your password you just have to click on login it should land on this uh, ESXi host client okay so we are able to reach there now we need to go back to our installation process here we need to give the IP address of our ESXi machine that is 192.168.10 and uh, 168.10.130 and this is the port number which we'll be using and the you and the, again here we need to give the username for our ESXi machine so that that machine should allow us to deploy this uh, on uh, ESXi so we are going to deploy this VMware vCenter server on ESXi host and then after giving username and password we just have to click here this certificate warning so we don't have configured any certificate but it says that the SHA thumbprint of the certificate is this and to accept and continue click yes we just click on yes and now this has started our first stage but still we need to give some more I mean to reset some more uh, settings here so now this is a VM name so this is a virtual name a virtual machine name the virtual machine name of the VMware vCenter server which we are going to deploy we are not going to change any name here um, but we can change the name but at the moment I am not changing and for that machine we need to set some password so we can set some password here so we are going to set some password let's say I just have to set some password so that I remember it and the same way you also have to use some password which you remember and then we have to click next and here it says that for more information on deployment size we can refer to this but he says that what are the deployment size and and for different deployment size at least you can get some idea that for different deployment size what is the requirement from virtual cpu memory storage point of view so i'm actually using my laptop so i'll i'll keep this tiny and then storage size i can have any storage size but i'll keep it as default and then i just click next here and uh, and say the install on an existing data store exist, uh, accessible from the target host yes we allow that and uh, here it says that show only compatible databases so we, this is the data store which we have on our ESXi machine where we will deploy this and then we also have to click not have to click but in my case I am going to enable thin uh, disk mode I'm using on my laptop um, and then we can click just uh, next and here we have to give the information about the network setting for this vCenter server so network I, I'll just keep, keep by default VM network and then IP version which I'll be using IPv4 for IP assignment actually I'll use DHCP and then this uh, is an optional I'm not giving any information here and here you can see we have this by default because we have a standalone uh, this uh, ESI, ESXi machine then we have to click next and it shows that ready to complete stage one so this is the configuration which we have made you can again review this configuration and just you have to click finish and now this has started the first stage where we are going to deploy 
uh, vCenter server and it may take some time so for that I will maybe uh, fast forward this recording and now the stage one deploy vCenter server has been completed so say that you have successfully deployed the vCenter server and now we can proceed with the stage two of the deployment process and vCenter server setup so now this is the stage where we will be setting it up and now if you exit you can continue with the vCenter server setup at any time by logging into the vCenter server management interface so now it means this is the virtual machine we as, as we mentioned that vCenter server itself is a virtual machine and this virtual machine has got this IP address right but at the moment we want to continue and complete it and yes this took a long time so I just uh, pause this recording and now I'm going to continue it again so now just we have to click on continue and meanwhile I can also show you that now this vCenter server has been deployed and we can see its existence on our uh, ESXi machine you can see this is ESXi host client and when you click here on the virtual machines it should show you that now this ESXi is hosting one virtual machine and that is VMware vCenter server which we are going to deploy now so this is the host which is hosting this virtual machine and now we are uh, starting the second stage of the installation of vCenter server so we just click on continue and this is loading for the second stage you can see stage 2 and we click on next and he is asking for time synchronization mode so we are going to activate it and we say that synchronize time with the e SXI host where we are deploying it and for SSH access we don't need at the moment so I'm going to deactivate it we can activate it anytime any, in the future if we need it and then create a new SSO domain so we are creating single sign on domain and for that we need a name for that for domain name and by default this name is vSphere.local but we need to type it here vSphere.local and then we need to set up a password for that so uh, so that we can log in it here so for that I'm going to set up a password remember that password you need you may need this in, in future so use a password which you can remember so I'm going to use some password which I remember and we don't uh, we are not we don't have any existing uh, SSO we are not going to join this and then we just click on next here and it says that configure CEIP VMware customer experience improvement program do you want to join it so at the moment we are not interested uh, to join it we just uncheck that and then click next and now this is ready to complete and then we say finish and it says you will not be able to pause or stop the install from completing so okay and then it, you can see that it is installing the second stage of vCenter server deployment and again it may take some time for that maybe I'll pause this recording and I'll be back uh, once this stage is also complete for me for after a wait of 40 minutes this has been completed so stage 2 is complete now and this has given us the IP address so vCenter server getting started page is this and we just close it so we saw that after uh, the installation I mean two stage installation of vCenter server we can see that in this virtual machine we have this VMware, uh, VMware vCenter server already there and now if you want to access it we notate the IP address where we have this vCenter server so this is I think 192.168.10.146 was the IP address of this vCenter server so I'm going to open a new tab and if I use 146 here 146 that is the IP address of vCenter server so click there and it says your connection is not private and actually we know that yes we are trying to access something which we believe it to be um, trustworthy so we just click there advanced and yes it says proceed to this IP address where we have the vCenter server deploy so we click there and now it says that launch vSphere client so using this vSphere client we can access our vCenter uh, server so that is the interface and we just click there and after it it should show us the beautiful graphical user interface where we can interact with the vmware vcenter and we can also manage and we can make some changes in esxi if you like okay so now we have to give the username that is administrator T -R -A -T -R, administrator 
at the rate of v square so this was the domain name which we used and then we need to give the password and then click login and now it should give us the beautiful graphical user interface where we can see the details about this vSphere, uh, VMware vSphere and uh, that's it. So now we have successfully deployed this VMware vCenter server on ESXi here and this is the interface which we'll be using in our next videos for other activities which, related, which relates with this VMware vSphere.